there are only two different types of carbonyl compounds aldehydes and ketones the difference between the two is the position of the C double bond O. So in an aldehyde, the C double bond O will be at the end of the chain. So this will be a hydrogen and the ketone will be, the C double bond O will be in the middle of the chain somewhere. So these would be carbons here. Now, if you remember back from year 12, we actually make them from alcohols. And it's important that you can classify alcohols because for an aldehyde you need a primary alcohol to start with whereas for a ketone you need a secondary alcohol. Now to convert them from the alcohol to the carbonyl compound it's an oxidation reaction. So it's oxidation of alcohols. So oxidation, then we need an oxidizing agent and the oxidizing agent is potassium dichromate. The formula for that then, K2Cr2O7. Remember we should always put that with conch acid, so conch sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Also remember that this is ionic and it will dissociate into its ions. So you've got two potassium ions, which leaves you with the dichromate ion. And it's actually this that is doing the uh, oxidizing. This gets reduced. Now this is originally orange. So you can see a visible change when this oxidation happens because uh, this will change colour, it will it will go green. So it's originally orange, it goes green. And that's because the chromium gets reduced uh, to Cr3+, plus, and you'll see that in your notes. Okay then, so uh, for the carbonyl compounds then, the formation of the aldehyde and the ketone, you need to be able to describe those. So as usual, we're talking about a balanced equation we need to state the reagents and the conditions. So let's have a go at that. Now, to do the equations, to put all of this in an equation would be too much. So fortunately, we've got an abbreviation that we can use. It's an oxygen in square brackets. So that's our oxidizing agent. This represents this. Let's have a look then at how we make an aldehyde. So we need to start with a primary alcohol. So if we take a generic primary alcohol, so the C that has the OH on is only attached to one other carbon, so it's primary. And if we react that with our oxidizing agent, we're saying here that we can turn that into an aldehyde. Now, if you play spot the difference with the organic compounds, you'll notice that we have removed the hydrogen and it's the oxidizing agent that's done that. So to balance this equation, we need to put H2O on the right hand side. Now, hopefully you'll remember that this aldehyde can be oxidized further to a carboxylic acid. So if we want the aldehyde, the conditions that we need here is distillation. So distillation is the technique that provides the heat, but it will allow us to um, collect the aldehyde before it can be oxidized further. So to form that carbonyl compound, okay, that aldehyde, we've done the equation for that here. That's enough. But for the purpose of revision, I'll, I'll carry on just to show this aldehyde being oxidised uh, further. And it is, in fact, one of the first reactions that a carbonyl can do, this oxidation of an aldehyde. So if we start with the aldehyde, we react it with some more oxidising agent, we can change that into a carboxylic acid. Now notice here, what we've done is we've just added an oxygen. So oxidation is 
the removal of hydrogen and or the addition of oxygen. That's definitely worth remembering for future. So play spot the difference. We can see we've added oxygen, so it's an oxidation reaction. Now, if the exam question was to ask you to give an equation for the complete oxidation of a primary alcohol, you'd take it up to the carboxylic acid and the conditions that you would use there are reflux. But for the balanced equation, you'd really need to add these two steps together. So hopefully you can see that we're making the aldehyde in step one, but we're using it up in step two. So that's like an intermediate that we can cancel out. So if we add everything on the left hand side of the arrow, we can start with our primary alcohol. And we need two moles of the oxidizing agent there to give us our carboxylic acid. Now don't forget the water. That would be a common mistake. Okay, I've gone off the screen there a little bit. There you go. Don't forget that water from that first step. And that would be the complete oxidation of that primary alcohol. And you just need reflux there. Okay, so for the purpose of our production of the carbonyl compound though, this is the one that we really wanted. So it's this equation here, this top one, that we need to produce that aldehyde. Okay, so we've done this one. Let's have a look at the ketone then. So for a ketone, we need to start with a secondary alcohol instead. We're still going to use the oxidizing agent. So a secondary alcohol then. So don't forget your carbon makes four bonds. So we'll have to put our hydrogen there. And we're going to use the oxidizing agent. And we're going to make our ketone. And again, if you compare the difference spot the difference. We've actually removed the hydrogen from this one. So again, we need to balance this with our H2O. So it's a secondary alcohol because the carbon that has the OH attached to it is attached to two other carbons. We use the same oxidizing agent. We're making a ketone. The conditions here reflux. So we don't need to worry about this being further oxidized because it can't be. Okay. So just to take you back to here, it would be a good idea just to put on here distillation and then this one would be reflux. Now in your notes there is um, an equation, a half equation showing the reduction of this and I'll do a separate video for you that.